In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for CaNO3 2 plus Na2S. This is calcium nitrate. This is sodium sulfide. The first thing we need to do when we balance net ionic equations, we need to balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. Looks like if I put a 2 here, then I'll have two sodiums, just like I have over here, and two nitrates here to balance these two nitrates. Everything else looks good. This is the balanced molecular equation. Next, we need to write the states for each substance. Nitrates, if you know your solubility rules, nitrates are very soluble, so that's going to dissolve, dissociate into its ions. Sodium compounds as well, very soluble. Put a little AQ for aqueous. Sulfides in general are insoluble, and calcium sulfide, that's insoluble. So it won't dissolve. It will actually, when these two react, it'll form a solid it'll fall to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. So this is a precipitation reaction as well. And then we have nitrates again, very soluble AQ. Once we have the states, we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions. This will be the complete ionic equation. On the periodic table, calcium is in group two. It has a two plus ionic charge. And the whole nitrate ion has a one minus. That's a good one to remember. So we have Ca2 plus for the calcium ion Plus, we have these two nitrate ions, so 2NO3 minus. For sodium, group 1 on the periodic table has a 1 plus ionic charge, and then sulfide, 2 minus. So we have two sodium ions, and then we have the sulfide ion, that S2 minus. These are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For net ionic equations, we don't split solids apart, so we're just going to have CaS plus sodium and then the nitrate ion, so two sodium ions, just like the reactants, plus we have, let's put them down here, two nitrate ions, NO3 minus. This is the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. When I look at the reactants here and the products, I see I have two nitrate ions in the reactants and in the products. So those are spectator ions, we can cross them out. Likewise, two sodium ions in the reactants, two in the products, spectator ions, we cross those out. The result, what's left, that's the net ionic equation for CaNO3 2 plus Na2S. I'll clean this up and write the states, we'll have our net ionic equation. And this is the balanced net ionic equation for calcium nitrate plus sodium sulfide. You'll note that charge is conserved. We have a 2 plus and a 2 minus. That adds up to 0, net charge of 0. Over here, the net charge is 0 as well. If you count the atoms up, they're balanced too. This is Dr. V with the balanced net ionic equation for calcium nitrate plus sodium sulfide. Thanks for watching.